Good day. In this video, we're going to look at circle geometry. We're going to solve this rider specifically. We are going to show you one route. There are other routes through solving this problem. You must always enjoy this information that they write next to our sketch. They are the keys to the riddle of solving the question they're going to ask us. First they said SR is equal to TW. That implies that angle Q1 and angle Q3 are going to be equal, angles opposite equal chords. Next I said QP is a tangent, tangent from P to Q, so the tan chord theorem will kick in, that green angle will be equal to that green angle over there, tan chord, this angle is equal to that one over there. Next I said angle Q2 is X, which is written in, if you didn't see it there, you would write it in at this stage. Next I said, SP is parallel to QT. I always advise people to put in extra arrows that forces you to remember the parallel and to also see that this part is also parallel, not just that part over there. And that part is parallel, not that part there. That then implies that this angle 3 and 3 here will be equal corresponding angles. And this angle and this angle will add up to 180 co-interior angles. And this blue angle and this blue angle will be equal alternate angles. To mention but a few angles associated with parallel lines. You don't write that, you don't think that, you're just ready to use it. Other words you will run into, they will never say all lines are straight, but they say SR is extended to P, that makes it a straight line. They say WR intersects SQ at K, that means he is straight. You can't assume a line is straight unless you're sure about it. That's why I said here, all lines are straight. You will never see that in a question. That can't be straight, but all those that look straight are straight. The first thing they ask us is to find, with reasons, three angles equal to X. They will write it out in a fuller sentence. Then I wrote in, what you must remember, always fill in on the sketch as you find them. The first one is S is equal to X, because it's the same as Q2. There is your alternate angles. That x over there is equal to that x over there. You must give a reason, because it's alternate angles, s are parallel to tq. The next one is w1 is equal to x, because it's equal to s. And your reason is angles in the same segment. So that angle is equal to that one over there. The next one is q4 down here, is also equal to x, is equal to the s up there. Your reason is tan chord theorem. There's the tan, there's the chord, that x is equal to the x over there. So here we have the three angles equal to x, actually four with the original one, and I wrote them all in at the right place. We got there's the x, there's the x, there's one, and there's one. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. The next thing we had to do was we were required to prove that r1 is equal to l3. So r1 is over there, and l3 is far away over there. Here is one possible way how to do it. You can say Q1 is equal to Q3. We give it a new letter, Y. Angles opposite equal chords. And you fill it in on the picture. Then you say, in triangle LWQ, L3 is equal to W1 plus Q1, exterior angles of a triangle. And that equals to X plus Y. In triangle RSQ, angle R1 is equal to angle S plus angle Q3. Also exterior angles of a triangle, that's also equal to X plus Y. So R1 is X plus Y and L3 is X plus Y. Then you just finally say angle R1 is equal to angle L3 because they're both equal to X plus Y. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. The last part of this question, they are asking us, we are required to prove that PRKQ is a cyclic quadrilateral. The first thing I always do is take my pencil and draw a line around it like an oval, not a circle because then it becomes too big. I just connect the four points that they mentioned and I can see that thing must now become a cyclic quad and I must find out why. Now you should know that there is three ways to prove if something is a cyclic quad. The first one is, if you can prove that that angle and that angle is equal on the same base, a circle will fit around here, they will be cyclic, those four vertices. 
If that angle and that angle adds up to 180 degrees, if they are supplementary, a circle will fit around here. And if that angle and that angle is equal, the exterior angle of this quadrilateral equal to the opposite interior angle, a circle will fit around here and it will be cyclic. So these are my three reasons for proving something a cyclic quad. In this case, there's more than one way to do it, but I'm going to go for this one. I wrote angle R3 is equal to Q1 plus Q2, angles in the same segment. You can see it over here. If you open up here and you close it here, those two angles are equal. And that's equal to X plus Y. You can see the X plus Y in the corners there. Then Q3 plus Q4 is also X plus Y. We can see it over there. Our reason is proven above. We already proved it earlier. Then we can write angle R3 is equal to angle Q3 plus Q4. Then you make your final statement. You say PRKQ is a cyclic quad. And what's your reason? The exterior angle of a quadrilateral is equal to the opposite interior angle. That's the more difficult one. Or you're allowed to say exterior angle of a cyclic quad converse. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy the geometry.